What is COVID-19? COVID-19 a disease caused by a replacement strain of coronavirus. CO stands for corona, VI for virus, and D for disease, and formerly, this disease was referred to as 2019. Coronaviruses are a large range of viruses that will cause disease in animals and humans. Symptoms COVID-19 signs and symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure. The amount following exposure and before the onset of symptoms is termed the incubation period. Common signs and symptoms can include Fever Coughing Tired Other symptoms may include Shortness of breath or difficulty breathing Muscle pain Chills Sore throat Loss of taste or smell Headache Chest pain this list isn't exhaustive. Other less common symptoms are reported, like nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. The looks of a rash or discoloration of the fingers or toes. These symptoms are usually mild and start gradually. Some people become infected without feeling very mild symptoms. Children usually have symptoms like adults, and therefore the severity of their disease is usually mild. Symptoms of COVID-19 can range from very mild to severe. Some people may have only some symptoms, and a few people may have not any symptoms in the least. Older people or those that already have medical conditions, like diabetes, heart and lung disease, obesity, chronic kidney or disease or a weakened system, could also be more likely to develop severe disease. This is often kind of like what happens with other respiratory diseases, like influenza. Some people may experience worsening symptoms, like worsening of shortness of breath and worsening of pneumonia, a few weeks after the symptoms begin. Complications Although the symptoms of most of the people with COVID-19 range from mild to moderate, the disease can cause severe medical complications and result in death for a few people. Older adults or those with chronic medical conditions are more likely to develop a heavy case of coronavirus. Complications can include Pneumonia and respiratory problems Failure of several parts of the body Heart problems Blood clots Severe kidney injury Additional viral and bacterial infections Most people, about 80%, get over the disease without the requirement for special treatment. But the symptoms are more severe for about one in every five people with COVID-19 disease who suffers from difficulty breathing. The chance of developing severe complications increases among the elderly and other people with other health problems like high pressure, heart and lung disease, diabetes or cancer. All persons, of any age, should seek medical attention immediately if they develop a fever and or cough among difficulty breathing shortness of breath, hurting or pressure or loss of speech or movement. Whenever possible, it's recommended that you just contact your physician or healthcare facility prior to, so the patient will be directed to the suitable clinic. What do I do if I've got COVID-19 symptoms and when should I seek medical attention? If your symptoms are mild, like a small cough or a small fever, there's generally no have to seek medical attention. Stay home, isolate yourself and monitor your symptoms and follow the national guidelines for self-isolation. But if you reside in a vicinity where malaria or dandy fever is common, you must not ignore the symptoms of fever. Seek medical help. Once you move to the health care facility, put a muzzle if possible, keep a minimum of 1 meter, 3 feet, between you and others, and avoid touching the surfaces around your hands. If the patient may be a child, help them adhere to those tips. How is COVID-19 disease spread? People can catch COVID-19 infection from others who have the virus. The disease is spread mainly from person to person through small droplets secreted by someone with COVID-19 from his nose or mouth when he coughs, sneezes, or speaks. These droplets are relatively heavy in weight, as they are doing not move to an overseas location, but rather fall quickly to the bottom. People can catch COVID-19 disease if they breathe these droplets from someone who has the virus. Therefore it's important to stay a minimum of 1 meter, 3 feet, from others. 
These droplets may land on objects and surfaces surrounding the person, like tables, door handles, and stair handrails. People can then become infected once they touch these objects or surfaces then touch their eyes, nose, or mouth. The infection can actually be cotton to stay washing hands with soap and water or cleaning them with an alcohol disinfectant to rub hands. How can we protect others and protect ourselves from infection if we don't know who has it? Caring for hand and respiratory hygiene is very important in the slightest degree times and is that the best way to protect yourself and the others. What do I do if I had close contact with someone with COVID-19? If you had close contact with someone with COVID-19, then the infection may have passed to you likewise. Close contact implies that you reside with someone who has the disease or was with him within the same place, but 1 meter, 3 feet. The chance of transmission increases within the early stages of the disease when the symptoms are mild, so it's vital that you simply isolate yourself early. If you are doing not have any symptoms but you have got had contact with an infected person, then you ought to quarantine for 14 days. If you, laboratory examination, confirm that you simply have COVID-19 infection, you ought to isolate yourself for 14 days even after symptoms have faded, as a precaution. It's not known exactly yet how long an individual will remain infectious after recovering from illness. Follow the national guidelines on self-isolation. What does self-isolation mean? Self-isolation is a crucial measure applied by people with COVID-19 symptoms to avoid transmitting infection to others within the community, including relations. What is meant by self-isolation is when someone with a fever, cough, or other symptom of COVID-19 disease obliges his home and refrains from visiting work, school or public places. This isolation can happen voluntarily or supported a recommendation from a health care provider. What do I do if I've got no symptoms but I believe I've got been exposed as COVID-19 infection? What does self-quarantine mean? Self-quarantine is to isolate yourself from others because you have got had contact with someone with COVID-19 disease, while you've got no symptoms. You must watch yourself for any symptoms that will appear during the quarantine. The goal of self-quarantine is to forestall transmission. Those who have COVID-19 disease can transmit the infection to others immediately, so quarantine can prevent transmission. In the case of quarantine, choose a spacious, airy, separate room with a restroom and hand hygiene supplies. If a separate room isn't available, separate the beds from a minimum of 1 meter. Keep a minimum of 1 meter off from others, including your family. Monitor your symptoms on a commonplace. Stay within the self-quarantine 14 days, whether or not you're feeling well. If you experience symptoms of difficulty breathing, consult your doctor immediately, and call first if possible. Stay positive and energetic by staying in reality together with your dear on the phone or online, or performing some exercise reception. What is the difference between self-isolation, self-quarantine, and physical spacing? Quarantine means restricting activities and isolating uninspired people themselves but who may are infected with COVID-19 infection. The goal is to stop the disease from spreading while the person has almost no symptoms. As for isolation, it means isolating sick those that have symptoms of COVID-19 who can transmit his infection, to stop the spread of the disease. Can children and adolescents be infected with COVID-19 disease? Research indicates that the percentages of kids and adolescents getting infected with COVID-19 and their ability to spread them don't seem to be different from other age groups. The evidence available thus far indicates that children and adolescents are less likely to develop severe complications from the disease, but this can be still possible during this people. Children and adolescents should follow the identical guidelines on self-quarantine and self-isolation if they run the chance of infection or if they develop symptoms. It's especially important that children avoid contact with the elderly and the others who are at greater risk of developing severe complications of the disease. How do I avoid getting a coronavirus, COVID-19, infection once I greet others? To prevent COVID-19, avoid any physical contact while saluting others. Safe greetings include waving, nodding, and bowing. 
is there a vaccine, medicine, or treatment for COVID-2019? While some Western, traditional, or home remedies may relieve or alleviate a number of the symptoms of COVID-19, there are currently no drugs that are shown to forestall or treat this disease. WHO doesn't recommend self-medication with any medications, including antibiotics, to forestall or treat COVID-19 disease. However, there are several clinical trials underway that include both Western and traditional medicines. WHO is coordinating efforts to develop vaccines and medicines to forestall and treat COVID-19 disease, and can still provide up-to-date information on this matter once the results of this research are available. Does WHO recommend wearing medical masks to avoid spreading COVID-19 infection? There is currently no evidence to support or deny the usefulness of wearing respirators, medical or other, from healthy people in society generally. Medical masks and respirators N95 and FFP and their equivalent are recommended exclusively for healthcare professionals while providing patient care. Close contact with persons with confirmed or suspected COVID-19 infection and get in touch with with their environment is that the primary method of transmission, which suggests that healthcare workers are the foremost susceptible to infection. A generic medical mask will protect people near you from how to properly wear the muzzle. If you choose to wear a muzzle, follow the instructions below. 1. Before touching the muzzle, clean your hands by rubbing them with an alcohol cleanser or by washing them with soap and water. 2. Check the muzzle and ensure it's free from cracks and holes. 3. Select the highest end of the muzzle, the position of the metal strip. 4. Confirm to point the proper side of the muzzle out, the colored side. 5. Place the muzzle on your face. Press the metallic tape or the hardened tip of the muzzle to shape your nose. 6. Pull the underside of the muzzle to hide your mouth and chin. 7. Don't touch the muzzle as long as you wear it for cover. 8. After use, pop out the muzzle by removing the elastic band behind the ears, taking care to stay it far from your face and garments to avoid coming into contact with potentially contaminated muzzle parts. 9. Lose used muzzle immediately by throwing it in a very closed waste bin. Don't use the used muzzle again. 10. Clean your hands after touching or throwing the muzzle, either by rubbing them with an alcohol cleanser or by washing them with soap and water if they're clearly dirty. And remember, how long does it consider symptoms to look after a COVID-19 infection? It takes about 5 to 6 days from the time of exposure to COVID-19 until the onset of symptoms, but it can range from 1 to 14 days. Can I get COVID-19 infection through pets or the other animals? Diagnostic tests showed positive results confirming the infection of the many dogs and cats, and also the virus was also discovered within the mosquito farm. How long will the virus last on different surfaces? The most important thing to understand about the presence of the coronavirus on surfaces is that it is easily disinfected with ordinary household sterilization solutions that kill the virus. Studies have shown that the virus that causes COVID-19 can stay plastics and chrome steel for 72 hours, on copper but 4 hours, and on cardboard, carton, but 24 hours. How to shop safely? When you buy groceries, keep a minimum of 1 meter between you and others, and avoid touching your eyes, mouth, and nose. Before you begin shopping, sterilize the trolley holder or cart, if possible. Once you come back, wash your hands well and after handling and storing your purchases. No confirmed cases of COVID-19 transmitted by food or canned foods are reported. How to wash fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are a vital component of any healthy diet. They ought to be washed as you'd under normal circumstances, before touching vegetables and fruits, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Then wash it well with clean running water especially if you eat it raw. Are antibiotics effective in preventing or treating COVID-19 disease? Both. Antibiotics don't eliminate viruses, they only fight bacterial infection. Since COVID-19 could be a virus created, antibiotics aren't helpful in controlling it. Antibiotics mustn't be used as a method to forestall or treat COVID-19 disease. 
but hospital doctors may prescribe antibiotics to patients with severe COVID-19 complications to treat or prevent secondary bacterial infection. The doctor's instructions should be strictly observed when using antibiotics to treat bacterial infections. Can I be infected with COVID-19 by stooling someone who has the disease? While preliminary investigations indicate a possible effect of the virus on stool in some cases, there are no reports of a transmission of COVID-19 infection from stool to mouth. Additionally, there's thus far no evidence of the virus's ability to stay in water or wastewater. Stay safe. Stay home.